Good morning guys and welcome back. So today, I want to show you how to remove the factory fenders from your Jeep JK. Now there might be multiple reasons you might want to do this. You might be upgrading to some aftermarket fenders to make your Jeep look even better. Or you just might be fixing or painting your factory fenders on your JK. For us, it's really simple. We really don't clean up all the dirt and grime that's actually behind this fender. It just really frustrates me, especially white on black and having like a real weird black line around when we did um, use the Bowden's own Mr. Black on the actual fenders it just didn't grab get a it just didn't get a perfect line which really frustrates me and also we need to replace the indicator on the Jeep the actual plastic housing of it is broken um, and the only way I've seen is to actually take off the whole fender that we can take off the inner fender to be able to replace the indicator itself um, we did have a spare set of fenders and we were going to color match it to the Jeep uh, but I think we're going to go in a different direction uh, so we still have a spare set of fenders sitting there for the Jeep but what we'll be doing is removing the fenders so we can clean all the crap behind here I really want to make sure there's no rust or anything like that I don't think these fenders have ever been off the Jeep uh, there was a lot of dirt and crap that actually fell up when we took these off so I'm going to give it a nice clean up and make it look nice and good but your fenders to install aftermarket fenders in that case you'll just have to go to extra step steps um, either saving these um, clips if you want to reuse your old fenders later on or removing the tabs if you're depending on what sort of aftermarket fenders you're doing this will only take about uh, 15 or 20 minutes to actually do all you need for this job is a 10 mil socket and an extension the extension is for one of the nuts that's a little bit further inside the fenders to be able to get that out and that's pretty much it uh, try not to break any of the clips if you are putting your fenders back on i think we did a pretty good job in not breaking them that might be a different story when we go and put them back on i was just really careful when i'm pulling them as you'll see but it's really simple 15 20 minutes to get these off clean up do what you need it's a really simple job but don't know if we'll do the back ones we'll see we'll see how much time we get but these were really easy to take off so let's get on to it it's a strange looking bolt isn't it so in the actual wheel fender liner wheel well itself you'll see a few different bolts they're all 10 mil one's up there one's that weird little nut that we just pulled out there one attaches up here there's actually one two three and then one in there and now the fender liner should just pop off itself just go ahead and pull the fender liner up and it should unclip it So this is a plug we're talking about um, so you can do this before you take your fenders off or you can do it afterwards either way but you can see it's got a little clip at the top block another light at the top just there so you just need to get your thumb into that little clip and it'll just pop straight off right so after you remove the guard you can either clean it up or replace it depending on what you want to do so you've got these little tabs that sit in there um, and we wanted to put our guards back on which we'll be doing shortly um, but if you're not uh, you probably want to take these off and save them a lot of people will just kind of stick a flathead screwdriver in and pull you'll end up breaking a lot of these and you can see on there there are two tabs that actually just clip into the guard what i did was get a flathead screwdriver press one side in and that gives you enough leverage to press the other side in and they just pop out really simple um, and you won't end up breaking them and needing to buy more later so what we've done with our guards is we've, as you can see they're a they are really clean so what we've done with our guards is we've cleaned everything up, we've polished it, um, we've touched it up with um, a little paint pen to get looking good. It's really soft. It's really nice paint under here actually. A lot of overspray from someone who's done like a rust protective spray. We cleaned all that up. A lot of people won't be doing this because a lot of people don't care. Uh, but you can get access to all your shocks and stuff like that. So we've just gone over everything, make sure there's no rust, uh, anything like that. Uh, we just want to get everything a nice once over with WD-40, give it a nice clean. 
I had like a small oil leak. Um, I think it stopped, but oil was dripping down the side of the blocks. So we've given that a clean up. Um, but for us, that's pretty much it. That we can start putting the guards back on now. So if you do want to save these, you can actually just put them straight back in, in the guards so you don't lose them if you want to re rerun your stock fenders later on or you're just running no fenders for the time being. But we're going to clip these back in and push our guards back in. But for, for the majority of people, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for us today. Um, if you guys found this video helpful, um, you got something from it, leave a comment below. I love reading you guys' comments, interacting with you guys. Um, and maybe smash that like button if you haven't already. Um, Hopefully this has helped a few people. I've watched a few other videos about people doing this and I found I think the way we've done it to get those clips out is almost guaranteed not to break them. We broke one, we were actually pulling the guards out. A lot of people are like, oh, you, before you pull the guards out, you've got to buy a replacement clip kit. Nah, you don't. You've just got to be a little bit more careful. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you've liked this video, hit that like button. Leave a comment if you've got anything to add. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.